Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. A major pro-gun owner bill has been introduced in the Iowa House of Representatives uh, just two days ago. Uh, HSB 133, what they call theirs House Study Bill uh, 133. Link will be in the description, all 41 fantastic pages of it. Now this bill addresses almost every single facet of Iowa's current uh, firearms laws, as well as the penal code uh, for criminal penalties and violations of those laws. It even goes into um, justifiable use of force as well as conditions of carry inside of vehicle and off-road vehicles, etc. Huge, huge bill. Uh, it's been a long time since we've seen this, this uh, all-encompassing of a bill anywhere in the country. Uh, so let's go over some of the key factors that I've been able to find so far. If you do live in Iowa, please leave a comment and let us know uh, some of the other intricacies that I won't have because uh, I'm not in the state. Some of the research I did, I'm sure, doesn't uncover everything that this bill does, pro or con. There's always cons in a bill. So please let us know, and we'd all love to hear from you. So let's check it out. Now, one of the biggest things right off the bat is the legalization of SBRs and SBSs, short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns. Now, now, don't get too too excited too fast. They still have to meet all the NFA requirements, but legal in Iowa should this bill pass. A big one that I see is on the law enforcement side. Currently in Iowa, if you are, say, if, if you commit a crime or charged with a crime while you're carrying a firearm, they can add a crime called going armed while, uh, with intent, going armed while, going armed with intent. See, it's it's even difficult to say because it's kind of crazy. You don't even have to have the intent to commit a single crime armed. You just have to have a gun on you, and it's a charge that can be put on you. Even if the alleged crime has nothing to do with your firearm, this is a charge that they can and have put on people. So this would fix that and uh, abolish that stupidity. Because just because you have a firearm on doesn't mean you have any intention to hurt anybody. Now the next section mentions lifetime permits. Currently, each county has their own permit across the state. Now, this bill, if passed, would eliminate these county-by-county county variations, because there are some, but I couldn't see right off the bat if it actually meant lifetime permit. Um, so if you do live in Iowa, let us know. Another good section it's going to bring Iowa, again, should this pass, going to bring Iowa to the current times as far as purchasing a firearm in a majority of the country. Um, just have to pass a NYX check to purchase the firearm. You don't have to have a concealed carry permit just to purchase it. As a father of four and who's trying to teach his two oldest right now the four fundamentals of gun safety, uh, this bill looks to repeal the supervised youth firearm handling ban, for lack of a better term. It's looking to let kids learn how to shoot under the proper supervision of a parent or an instructor. It looks to prohibit the public release of your information if you do have a permit, so that's going to be uh, private. This next section, I'm going to read it because I'm not familiar with it, but it sounds fantastic. Uh, it's the pre preemption cleanup, which is a rewrite of 724.28, one of their laws. And this prohibits any political subdivision, whether it's a city, county, municipality, uh, regents, institution, etc., from creating gun-free zones that violate state preemption law. It establishes a loser's pays uh, system. So that if someone sues over the creation of a gun-free zone, the loser of that lawsuit must pay the winner's court costs. <laughs> Booyah. So when you liberals want to sue back and you lose, pay up, bitches. <laughs> I like that. It also looks to prohibit the confiscation of firearms and weapons during a declared uh, state of emergency, kind of like uh, my old alma mater did, the uh, NOPD, during Hurricane Katrina. Don't know what the hell they were thinking, but that happened. The next one I'm going to read as well because this is an awesome addition to this bill. It's going gonna, it's gonna to legalize stand your ground. It's going to remove the, quote, duty to retreat from law-abiding citizens who find themselves in a self-defense situation. Establishes that as long as you have a reasonable bias of the belief that you are in danger, you may defend yourself or those around you. That's the way it's supposed to be. Shouldn't have to have a law about it, but that's what this freaking country's come to. Glad Iowa is taking a lead to keep their citizens safe. The next one sounds like a caveat that they had to throw in to uh, make anybody with a D after the name happy. It's going to increase the penalties on straw purchases. Now, straw purchases are a, a federal offense. Don't know why the state would need to even go further than what the, the feds do, but if that's a problem in Iowa, 
so be it. Go after them. They deserve it. Currently in Iowa, if you operate an ATV or a snowmobile and choose to carry your firearm, you have to have a retention holster, something that's a level two or three or has a positive style retention to it. Well, this is going to remove that requirement. I mean, as an instructor, there are some level one holsters out there now that are Kydex that hold on to your gun better than some of the, uh, you know, several snap systems in leather we had, you know, 10 years ago. So this is, this is a good one. This one, I wasn't aware, aware that this was a problem in Iowa, but they addressed it, so it must be. Uh, capital carry. Uh, this bill will prevent the director of the Department of Administrative Services from prohibiting the otherwise lawful carrying, transportation, or possession of any handgun in or on any capital buildings or grounds. Maybe they'll be scared straight in the uh, state house, right? <laughs> now, this bill addresses a bunch of intricacies in the... Uh, concealed carry permits and the permitting process and if you live in Iowa you might want to get intimate with these details and uh, get a hold of your state representative this is in the House of Representatives on uh, in Iowa on the state level now HSB 133 has been assigned to the House Judiciary Committee and the subcommittee consisting of representatives Matt Winschill W-I-N-D-S-C-H-I-T-L Winschill uh, Greg Hartsill H-E-A-R-T H-E-A-R-T-S-I-L-L, -L, and Mary Wolf, W-O-L-F-E. So if these are your reps, call them and thank them. They have put together a fantastic uh, pro-gun movement. And this is something that everybody in Iowa who's a gun owner or who has children who should have their rights to defend themselves, this is something you guys should get behind. Let us know if you live in Iowa what is what else is in the bill. And uh, like I said, if you want to read it, it'll be in the description. I look forward to hearing from everybody. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. If you like this type of information, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Pass this around to a couple of friends because we need to get the good stuff out there about gun ownership. Until the next one, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.